Good evening. I've gone kind of blue today. Um, I've been struggling with the sunlight, so my um, camera settings are a bit weird. But hello. Um, welcome to me learning Haskell, um, where I learn some Haskell and then live stream the experience of it. Um, I've been working on a program uh, to help me organize one to one meetings with my colleagues and it takes a list of all of my colleagues and randomizes that list and then works through that list for me and then when it gets to the end it re it shuffles the list again and then works through them in a new random order uh last week we got it working which is pretty cool um and in fact we started to add some extra commands to it the plan for today i think is um there's a couple more commands i want to add so we can uh, actually let me show you uh we have to code here um, I'm going to say stack run. Um, first of all, I can list people. Give a second. Um, what were the commands I implemented last week? So I just run up an argument. It just tells me who the current person is, which is Ruth. Um, I can add people. Uh, so we'll add Mary. Oops. Stack run. And then add Mary. Um, and then if I do a stack run list again, you can see that Mary's been added to the end of the list, hopefully. Um, and then I can say stack run next, which takes me to the next person list. So it's go from Ruth to Betty S. Um, a couple more commands I'd like to add to that. Um, one is to delete someone from the list. So if someone moves teams or I don't want to talk to them ever again. Um, I can remove them. And the other thing I want to do is postpone um, a one to one with someone. So somebody might be away um, or I might have spoken to them recently. So I just want to take them and basically move them forward in the list. Uh, that's going to get a bit tricky, actually, because if you move them forward to the end of the list or be on the end of the list, um, we'll need to reshuffle. Um, but yeah, so those are the commands I want to add. Um, but I was actually wondering if I can look at the way that the commands are set up, these subcommands. Um, so in a minute, what I'm doing is in the initial state, I think I'm grabbing the arguments yep, here, args of get args. I'm just putting it into commands here. Um, what I then do, let me go down to where it's used, is I pattern match against the entire state but then inside that, matching against the commands list. So there's no command. Let me show current. If the command is literally next, um, this is interesting. So we uh, we call next. Uh, if it's add and then followed by a name, um, yeah, I think it's a single argument name there. Um, then it adds that name. If it's list and lists it, obviously. Otherwise, if you type something else in, it doesn't match, it doesn't recognize, it prints this usage line. Um, so a couple things are a bit annoying with this. I don't really like the syntax of kind of matching. Um, sort of destructuring the entire state. Obviously, I think this is noisy. This whole thing here just seems noisy to me. It doesn't, it doesn't really um, figure in the setting of command. It's just an implementation detail of how I've happened to store the commands in this state. Um, so that's not really cool, I don't think. Um, and the other thing is that if I add another command here, uh, you know, whatever. Um, in fact, let's, sorry, let me just copy one. Uh, that, no, not that. Key bindings are always different between machines just to make life more fun. Wow, oh, pretty hard to copy line. Okay, um, if I had a new command, so let's say uh, postpone or skip, or postpone. Um, the usage is now wrong, so I need to remember to go and update this every time, and I'm not, I mean, it's not a big deal, it's not a lot of code here, but I, it feels like we could do this better. And the kind of thing I was thinking that I want is to say something along the lines of commands is, and then just give it a list. 
or build up a list. Um, so you, know, you might have something like uh, a default command, and that is show current. That's the name of the function that we're going to run. Then some kind of operator. Uh, I'm just going to put that now, although it's not actually correct. Let's do that for now. Don't know if that's correct or not. We'll come back in a second. But just to get an idea, if you say it's a, the commands are a default command or um, maybe a command which is next, uh, which is calls a function called next, um, or a command with arg. Which is add, which calls add, and so on. Um, so that's the kind of thing I was thinking of setting up. Um, yeah, so those are the three options. Um, not directly, oh, just because I wrote commands here again. Um, I guess this, the thing I'd like to then do is to, down here when I'm saying run command, um, maybe just pass in the list of commands that we've set up, and it would do this this kind of matching for me, or some kind of matching for me, to work out what the command is. But also, if it doesn't match, it could just generate the usage from the, the things I've set up. Um, so that's kind of the dream. Um, pretty boring dream, but it's what I was planning on doing. Uh, now I need to work out how to do this. So what I'm just going to do is do that for a second. I'm going to open a new file uh, in lib source uh, called commands .hs. Start with that. I'm going to say not package from language module commands where and then we'll just leave it at that. Um, in fact, at some point we will export something, but not yet. Okay. And then this is the kind of thing I want to sketch out. So, first of all, in order to do this, I need to declare a new type, um, new data type. So we can say data command, and we'll give it three different constructors. So we can say uh, default command, which takes, oh, I need a name for the t this function type. Um, let's say it takes an action. And then we can say data, oops. Action, it's going to be capital A, it should be capital A. Data action is, um, it's something that goes from the state. That's awkward, I need to pull the state in. Um, to, uh, I can't remember the, the type is of each of these commands, um, something like show or add. Ah, uh, there's two different signatures here. So one is it goes from state to IO, and one that goes state to list of strings, you know, just refax this bit, to IO. So this is state to IO. Um, what am I doing here? Not a data type. What is it? I want to name type. Let's do it like that. Um, I haven't got access to auto state, so I'll need to move that into something on its own. I think a file on its own because I can't import main. But let's do. Um, import state 
auto state. We're not actually going to construct it, we just need to know it exists for now. Um, I'm just going to create a file called state. Is that going to clash with another module called state? Let's call it auto state just to make sure we don't end up clashing with the state monad. Um, I'm just going to go to main and I'm going to grab definition of this. Pop it into there. Um, they, oh, it's not happy with me now. Module auto state. And we'll export auto state with every, wow, all the constructors for that. Uh, which is kind of okay, but it needs access to some other stuff, so it needs access to other config. And this type name. Okay, so other config is really easy. In fact, I'll just grab that name type as well. Um, we've got state, we've got config, and we've got name. And we'll export all of these things. So we'll export auto config. And I'll be able to construct that and then name. Okay, so go back to main. In theory, hopefully, um, I can import all this stuff and then say import auto state. Make like inputs explicit, why not? <laughs> okay, so this should now be okay again, hopefully. It's okay. Um, and now I can go back to commands. The whole point of doing this was so we could say import state. Okay. Again there. So type of an action is something that goes from state to MPAO. Um, this command type so we've got default command, and then we'll just have normal command, um, where you construct it with the name of the, com of the action, or the, the name of the command, sorry, we're going to match, and then an action, or command with args, which is going to take, again, the name of the command, Uh, R. And then it's going to take a uh, slightly different function. It's going to be action with args. So you can say here type uh, action with args is auto state to a list of strings to some um, IO action. Okay. So I'm not actually going to be able to set it up like this inside this commands thing. I just want to, in fact, let me just comment out so it stops complaining. Uh, that, nope, that. Um, okay. I'm kind of interested in this operator. Um, I don't even know if I've got it right. I don't know if I'm going to use it either, but let's have a look and see. So, that THC REPL. THCI REPL, that doesn't make any sense. Stack REPL. Okay. Um, I think. If I look at the semi-group type class, I'll come back to semi-group in seconds, not in scope. Is this operator thing? Nope. Is um monoid? Okay, monoid is defined. Uh, it's going to be a bit bigger. Uh, 
lowercase g for semigroup. Okay, and it's fine. Oh, it's this operator, right. Uh, Tuglessness of this is really interesting and boring at the same time. So it's, it takes something, adds something onto it, returns the original type. So if I had a list, um, hmm, I was saying, um, yeah, yeah, okay, let's have a list. So it implements monoid, but also implements semigroup. The semigroup for lists is what you're really saying is if you take, if you take some list, take the empty list, and then we apply its operator and we give it another list, it's got the same type, so we'll give it like list thing W, so it's now a list of strings, I mean, let's put a number in there. Um, what it will return to you is a new list and actually be the concatenation of those two lists. So here we go, blah, blah, blah. it just concatenates them together. So it's, it's basically just doing list concatenation. If you, if you use it on a list, um, we got another type we can show it on. Um, there are, I'm sure many things implement semi-group. Uh, Nothing interesting in here, I don't think. Don't look at. Okay. What I'm thinking is if I have a function or I have a, a data type, which is something like default um, command, then it should return something of type maybe. Well, it's going to return it something of type command. But maybe it's not command, maybe it's a list of commands. We can think about it like that. And then if we add on a new command to it, we get a new list of commands. Or we could even think about it as being like a command parser. And then this, if we add another thing on, it's a new command parser that just parses both of these arguments. So it's the kind of thing I'm thinking of doing. Um, I'm sure there are many libraries that do this and probably do it a lot better. But I kind of want to initially write it from scratch and have all the problems and get it wrong and then maybe later on come back and look at doing this with a proper library and see how it differs. It probably doesn't do it using semi-group. Um, but that's, that's kind of a idea I have. Um, I don't know whether or not it's going to work. And actually, <laughs> just looking at this, I don't know where I'm going to store the list. You know, if I'm saying that we can call this on a single command. Mm. If you can call this on a single command, then when we join it together, we get a new command, but none of these commands store a list anywhere. Like we're kind of lacking something. So it does feel like we need a wrapper around that, or, you know, we need some way of doing what? Like we need some other type, which is actually just a list of commands. Um, okay. Um, oh, that's because it's oh, it's a constructor as well as being a type, so it's getting confused. I think, or I'm getting confused. One of the two. I'm just close to command type second. It's not good practice, but I just want to see if that makes it go away. That's no. Okay, I cannot do that. Maybe what maybe we're just going is I need a proper parameterized type. So 
to type command list um it's a command type equals what? What would this be equal to? I don't really know where I'm going with this at the minute. It's not good. You can't prompt us with a concrete type either. Okay, let me scrub that for a second. Let, let's just start. With what? Hmm. I'm trying to think of something in the standard library that I can compare this to. Um, but I'm not sure what. Because I don't want to go as far as looking at sort of um, powers of applicative, which probably does it, or power seconds like that. I, f I feel like that's going a bit too far, but maybe that is the answer. Um, what do I look at? Um, I'm going to look at state for a second. I control the magic state. Uh, it's a bit complicated. <laughs> No idea what this is talking about. No, that's too complicated. Okay. Um, let me do this in an old fashioned way and then we can uh, look at making it fancier maybe next time. I'll go and read up on some stuff. So, what I want to do is I want to say something like run command, and then take an auto config, auto state, sorry. Um, I'm going to take an auto state, and right, let me sort these arguments around for a second. I'm just going to take a list of commands, these are the commands that we can run. Um, then it's going to uh, take the state and then it's going to run the actions, of the, all the actions return IO. So we can say run command of commands and the state S. Is and then what do we do here? Don't do it for a second, but we'll I'll work out whether I need that in a moment. So what I want to do is say something like let sub command equal um, head of uh, the args of S, is that right? And then we want to try to match um, so we have a list of commands and the commands will be some constructor and then uh, 
um, and then the action to take. So args might be empty. So let me just jump to the definition of this. It's actually commands, what I called it. Just see if I can shut up this note. Okay, so sub command is the head of commands of S. Now I couldn't much expect to type all of state to A with actual type list of commands. Um, because I have two things called commands. Right. So rather than type sub, I'm actually, what I want to do is write something called subcommand, uh, which will already be a maybe type. So what I'm going to do is when I'm creating the state, I am going to um, I'm going to get the command line arguments. I'm going to take the first element off that list if there's something in that list. I and mean, if there's not, then I'm going to return nothing. I'll just jump into here for a second. Um, and in fact, we want to go and grab an initial state as well. I'm going to move this into this file. Okay, so load config and get args. Get args is easy to fix. If we type the right command, um, I'll put it in there. Load config is a bit more interesting. Um, what I might actually do is take the config. As an argument. Ah, uh, something wrong there. I see, that's right, something didn't go wrong. Okay. So instead of storing it as args, what I actually want, or here as commands, what I'm going to do is say uh, subcommands, it's in a little case, subcommand is just a string. And args is the list of strings, like anything that's left. Down here, so we're saying args is get args, but in theory, like the kind of thing I like to say here is uh, subcommand is the Head of the args and args is the tail of args. However, I want this to be safe. So I want a safe version of head. Um, I just write that quickly. Maybe a. Uh, I'm sure it's available in many libraries. But I couldn't find one that I already had access to in Prelude. Uh, so say if that is nothing. And then if head of oops x and whatever. Right, we don't much care about much in that. Um, is just x. Oh, 
Well, say if I take a list of A's, there may be A. Okay, and then we here we can say if head, and then it's going to complain at me because it turns a memory type, not a string. Subcommand is going to be maybe a string. Okay, come back to here, not there. Go back to commands. Right, so now this subcommand of s is going to be um, subcommand. Let's go subcommand. Oh, I do want to import that, yes. And okay, so we get the um, the subcommand out, and actually we're going to say kiss subcommand. <laughs> Um, and then what are we going to do? So we say nothing. And then we want to go to our list of commands and we want to find the default. Okay, and that should give us back um, a an action, and then we want to run it with the state. So the state here is s. And then we can say just um, c is our command name. Or SC for a subcon name, then we can say uh, find command. Mm. Okay, we'll ignore the command docs for a second. Find command and commands. It's going to get more interesting because there are two different ways of applying it. Um, I'm going to do that with S. Why not? Why not what? I wonder how you apply in Haskell. Like, is there a way of applying? Or do you just, are you just, it just returns a command. How do I then, sorry, this returns a function. How do I then invoke the function? I'll look that up in a second. So, find default. Here are some more warnings. What this is going to do is it's going to go from um, a list of commands, list of commands to an action. Equals. Um, find by is that a thing? How do you search a list return the first match? Uh, data dot list dot come all the for me. No, find. Okay, so it goes So this is my matcher and the list or foldable of A's and then turns of maybe A. Um 
That's going to be awkward because it's actually going to go to maybe action. No, it's not. Okay. We're going to have a special case. So you can say case. Uh, find and then we're going to be given a command um, I'm going to pattern match on that Uh, how do you find by a constructor? I'm going to look this up now. So, Pascal find by construct or in list. Match. List. No, that's sorry, matching using the constructor of lists. Um Weird thing, right? Can you say this probably wouldn't work? But data constructor is really a function. That's not gonna work. Um oh, I'll write it a long way. And then we'll come back and see if we can fix it. I really don't know what I'm doing anymore. So find is default commands in our list of commands. Uh, nothing. If we don't match it, we're going to return the usage function, which I'll write in a second. Um, where is just A will be A. All sorts of things going wrong here. Okay. Let's write usage. Oh, actually, let's write is default command. Which goes from A command to bool and then is the alt command um a default command of default command is true Um, and it is the default command. Anything else is false. These are not cards, these are matches. Uh, I need to bracket this so it's a single argument. Okay. Variable on scope finds, just going at it. Usage we haven't written yet. Um, it doesn't know that yet. Okay, so usage needs to be a type action. Um, and then usage, we don't care about the state. I'm going to say put strill in. This is the usage. 
Okay, we're getting a bit closer. Maybe. Uh, this case was from maybe. Oh, from maybe takes a default. Okay, let's do that refactor. Thank you. Okay, now what we got? Couldn't match type command with auto state la. Okay, so see this is a list of commands. Let's make you start with in fact, let me just get rid of this second. Right. So is default command here goes from a single command. to a expect to type maybe action actual type maybe command okay so if we do find it we will throw a constructor and get the command out <laughs> um Well, that's tricky. So Let me do this. We can say, um, it's really annoying. So we have a command. I kind of want to find and modify at the same time. So If this matches as well as being true, um, yeah, let me match here, I think. So we're going to say if our list contains of, contains of, contains default command. Uh, and then the action and we just return a uh, it's default command sorry and then anything we don't care what comes after that okay whereas uh, find default Where an empty list, I maybe put that first as usual. I think to put the guard first. Um, I'll say the terminal close first. So if we don't find anything, there's no list left, we just turn usage. Uh, 
and then find default where we have anything else that's not a default and something else is find default in something else. Maybe type an L in there. There we go. So we don't need this. So find default if it if we are given an empty list, we haven't found it, so we return usage. If we're given a list that contains the first element, which is a default command, then we return that action. And if we're given any other list, we ignore the first element because it doesn't match it doesn't match default command, and we just search the result. Not the result, but the rest of the list, the tailored list. So I guess the similar thing for find commands. Um, it's going to go from a list of commands to an action. Um, and then we can say find command uh, empty list is usage. We haven't found it. Find command of default, not default command, now it's just command. With some action. Oh, command, right. This is, we actually need something from the state here. So, list of commands, and then the name of the command we're looking for. Is this the right around to do it? Uh, nope. I'm going to put the name of the command first. So, doesn't matter what the name, what are you doing? It's not the name is, if we don't have any list. Um, the name of the command, the sub command here, can we match it here? I hope so. Uh, it's got a name, it's got an action, return A. Selecting definition for SC. Hmm. Okay, I think I need to write this guard slightly differently. So I'm going to sub command list uh, and then we start putting our guards in. So give L is the empty list. Then we return usage. It's not like that, it's just equals. And then can we say oh, match against L? Oh, everything is really annoying today. Like, I want to say that the thing that I'm given Can I, sorry, let's go back to this for a second Can I put a guard in here? So Maybe say SC is equal to want. No. This is the easier case, right, is we don't know what we're looking for. Uh, we haven't found it yet, but there's some more stuff. And then we just recurse. 
Oops, we do need this. How much is redundant? Which powder match? Um, it's still redundant. What? Oh, I've could have typed L up here, and actually that's going to match everything. That's what I wanted. Okay, that was hard. So this is the command we're looking for. This command we go. If they match, then we return the action. Otherwise, we search the tail. Is that right? And then here we need to call it with the um the actual subcommand or oh, here, sorry, subcommand here is oh we've matched as SC, that's what we're looking for. There, there we go. Uh, we pass it in first, so we do SC and then that. Okay. Now, how do we apply a function? Because it doesn't seem to be like that. Uh, so like pass and blah blah blah. So it's kind of a function. Hmm. Then what I want, like I want, I want this this action. Is something like is a function goes from auto state to there? Can you do that? Yeah, it doesn't help. Okay. What I'm thinking is this should return an action, and the action should be a function. So it's something that returns a function, and then we can take that function and apply it. Because it takes single arguments in this case, so we can apply it using uh, S here. S being the state. Um, if I do this, it's all kinds of wrong. And it's not happy with that. Okay. I'm sure this is wrong because it's going to um is it all kinds of wrong actually? No maybe, maybe it works it out because it knows it find the fault and it takes a single argument. Maybe it genuinely is. Like the warning is correct. I don't need the brackets even though it's confusing to me to read it like this, because it looks to me like S is an argument to find default, but it shouldn't be. Uh, oh, I can't load main anymore. Um, just going to main. Let's just get rid of these and come on, the mic for now. 
don't know why this keeps going blank. Uh, initial state, can we pull this in? Yes, but now it takes an extra argument. I think no definition fine for initial state. Oh, this was in here, wasn't it? Initial state takes a config, turns out, so we can say initial state with load config. Just need this to be able to load. Much import from a cycle main imports itself over time. Uh, let's go to the beginning. Oh yes, I've imported initial state from main. Well done. Right, can I now? Did I not put initial state into here? Yes, but I didn't export it. That's what I wanted. Okay, cool. Okay, ignoring the warnings for now. Yeah, I can come back to this later. Um, what are the warnings though? So I think there were warnings. So, commands. What have I exported here? I haven't exported a single thing. I actually want to export command. And I want to export run command. And then is that enough? I think so. It doesn't do anything actually. Oh, it's interesting. I shouldn't need this. It's a good test of whether or not that, that works. Last compiler. Okay. Uh, so just read it up a second. Uh, Okay, can we load that? Oh, it loaded, okay, it's a good sign. Okay, what are we going to do here? So we're going to say something like um, commands is equal to list of the old command of show. Does that work? Show is not in scope because it's written main and not exported. Um, okay. Let me just create a new file called actions and module actions will worry about the export in a minute. Where? Okay, now we can go back to here and we can just grab list. Import auto state. Don't have names on what that world. list we can just import from foldable map with index from data sequence that's where I'm going up from list from data sequence no data list oh where do we get from for um
from this comes from data sequence. That's all. Oh, I didn't know until I scrolled, sorry. It is sequence internal from list. Don't know. Names. Where's names come from? Doing the function here called names. Ah, it comes from auto state. Okay. The only thing it hasn't picked up for some reason is this. And then IDX of S is coming from the state. Okay, we have at least one thing. Um, and then we can go and grab show and do the same nonsense with it. Oh, the show current here, I think. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I export that as well. Oh, of course, I couldn't call it show, could I? Because that's a. That's already a function. So, let's import uh, commands and we'll say default is, let's say show current, does that work? Do the construction not in scope default command. Can say commands dot that. I thought I exported it. Maybe I did not export it. Oh. That'll probably make a bit of difference. Okay, cool. Let me say run command. And it takes Eight. Oh goodness. Initial state of access load config. I don't have access load config, do I? Okay. Um maybe try and build something from the from main. It's only like commands is equal to um commands is a type of list of commands uh, oops so commands is equal to we're just going to say default Command is show current. Well, then, do that. Um, or, no, not or, but the next thing is command. Um, list which is list right so we load the initial thing I'm going to pass it into script this for now um, so run command is not a thing it's actually run commands No, 
what was it called? Oh, I did call it run command, but it's another module now. So that's there. Okay, and the type of run command it takes a state. No, it takes the commands first, hopefully. Otherwise this wouldn't work. Ah, oh, and then it takes a state as a second argument. Okay, so if I just do stack run. It does that, that's kind of cool. It's like the um, default seems to work. List worked, certainly, okay. And some nonsense, should you say usage, you filled in. Wow, okay. <laughs> so it, after all that, it did kind of work. Um, okay. So, I need to handle command with arguments as well. I think. Maybe we could do something kind of like we could partially apply it. So we command arguments is oh it's from around, isn't it? I can't partially apply it because it takes a state first and then a list of arguments. So maybe we can flip that. Just make life easier for myself in the future. Okay, and that should be the same as a list of arguments then to um, action. So it's a list of arguments and then the action itself. So we could still return an action. Um, from here by partial applying to the orgs, but we need access to the orgs. So, find command sc, which is subcommand, and then we'll have orgs of s. So, a list of strings. Okay, so our subcommand, we don't care what, in fact, we don't care what these things are as long as we get usage. Um, so we want nothing, and then a single command. Uh, so that's the args that is sc args okay so now i think oh sorry i've got an error up here i'm just going to do that i think it's because i haven't imported it um here we can say if we have a command with args and then the where this goes is uh well oh no, it's something here. Um one of args takes a string and then it turns an action with args, so this A is action with args. We can then partially apply it to the arguments and that becomes an action by magic. 
Okay, so now in main, we can add another thing, which is commands with args. And it's add. And that would call add. And uh, import that. No, we probably add because the arguments aren't quite the same. So the way this works is it takes a list of names and a state and returns something under IO. So flip these round. Okay, it's in new names. Or is this already a list? So we'll just add them all onto there. So you can you can add multiple names now. That's my thinking. Um, I can get rid of this as well. Leave. Okay, I think that will compile. And if that works, then I might call it night actually. Okay, it says usage, so that's kind of what I wanted. So if we say list, it's art, and then we can say add um betty beppy beppy is a good name and we'll add john oh wow interesting error not what i expected why is that not the case i wonder did it add anyone No, I think it did match it, but I've introduced a new bug where save state is not working for some reason. Ah, I, I think I know why. So load config. Did I move load config into here? I did not. Let me move it into here. Got initial state. No. I I did. Okay. So I didn't move to look on here, but read file is in here. Um but it's a wrong read file basically. I need to do these two lines in here. So it was using the prelude read file, which was non strict. I need to switch it back to using the strict version again. Okay, so try it again. Didn't say anything, which is maybe good. So if I list, you've added those two to the end. It did. Cool. Okay. Um, right. I can't remember what the commands were. I guess next, kind of important. And is it then next? So we should go to bulk. Cool, I think. Right, so I have something working now, I guess. This 
way of listing commands is a bit better. Um, so I need to make usage work. Uh, and then tie this up and move some commands around. Move all these into a file called actions, I think. And then, um, yeah, be amazing. What is this run being called in something? Oh, in next. Okay, so next is the one that uses run because it uses up to exact the state. Right, okay. Um, anyway, kind of working. Um, kind of got a list here. I do have a list here. This is a slightly more declarative way of setting up commands. Um, all the work seems to be done here. Which is okay, maybe. Yeah, and then usage, I just need to take the list, the full list of commands for usage. I think it's going to be interesting because by the time I call usage, I've exhausted the list of commands. Um, so yeah, they might just take a default, I guess. But yeah, I'll come back to this next week and see if we can get it working. Cool. All right, I'm gonna call it an evening there. Um, yeah, a little bit awkward tonight, but making some slow progress. So that's better than nothing. Cool, so thanks for watching um, and probably see you next week if you come back. Bye.